Welcome to Insider Medicine In-Depth, I'm Dr. Susan Sharma. Graduated driver licensing programs may help reduce the rate of car crashes involving 16-year-olds, but they are also associated with more car crashes involving 18-year-olds, according to research published in the Journal of the American Medical Association. Graduated driver licensing programs put the following restrictions on drivers under the age of 18. No night driving, no driving with multiple young passengers, and no driving without a supervising adult. Researchers from the California Department of Motor Vehicles analyzed data on fatal motor vehicle accidents that occurred among teens in the U.S. between 1986 and 2007. The investigators compared the rates of fatal crashes involving teens among states with stronger graduated driver licensing programs, states with weaker programs, and states with no such program. Overall, fatal car crash rates increased with age, plateauing among teens at age 18 and 19 before decreasing again. After controlling for variables that affect crash risk, states with stronger graduated licensing programs had fewer fatal accidents involving 16-year-olds, but more fatal accidents involving 18-year-olds than states without any such restrictions on teen driving. Today's research suggests that graduated licensing programs in their current incarnation are not doing enough to reduce the risk of fatal crashes involving teens. Research is needed to determine which features of such programs are most effective and how to employ them to reduce car crash rates through the teen years. For Insider Medicine In-Depth, I'm Dr. Susan Sharma.